This morning, we are very proud to have three panelists with us, um, all representing different stakeholders. And they will, what they will do in, when the program starts is the three panelists will be introducing themselves um, and some of the ethical issues that they are dealing with right now in, in, their, in their little worlds. Primarily, uh, right now, if you're a smaller employer under 50, uh, and of course, all employers now over 50 because of the deferral of the pay or play uh, uh, mandate and the penalties if you if you decide to drop your insurance. Um, but for, for 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 now, basically, uh, companies under 50 uh, employees do not have any penalties if they decide to drop their insurance in favor of of, the ex of exchanges or, or whatever. There is a fact out that that. Um, that in some companies, uh, if, if you do the numbers and crunch the numbers, and you have the right profile of employees, generally lower paid employees um, that uh, may have, have high, high financial responsibilities, high household income, uh, the numbers of people in their, in their households, and you crunch those numbers, um, it, it's, it's, there's really, it's, it's really you're, you're compelled to move that way. And so, uh, you know, it goes back to economics, it goes back to still free market and competition. And how are you going to use health benefits to potentially, um, you know, attract workers if your competition does not offer it? So there's a lot of things at play. It's not just the economics, it's also how you value it. One thing to think about as well that I talk with, with our clients about is if you move to the individual exchange, you really don't know if your employees are actually buying coverage, right? You know there's that individual penalty, it's really not that high, actually it costs, you know, probably less costly just to take the penalty and buy the insurance when you need it. Um, and so think about that if, if your employees really aren't purchasing insurance. And think about, not it's not just health care costs, but then what do you do about workers' comp, disability, productivity, uh, productivity absenteeism, you know, all those things that impact your business's bottom line that really aren't necessarily related to the cost of health care. I mean, this is, this is a question of economics, I believe, and employers are going to do what employers need to do to keep people working, and if that means that you're not going to be able to afford health care and pay for health care, and, and individuals have to purchase that on the exchange, I guess that's truly where our country is going and, and, and what's happening. So for me, I don't see it as a, I, I truly don't see it as a question of ethics, I see it as a question of economics.